All right, today we have the Alienware AW510K. It's a low profile RGB mechanical gaming keyboard with Cherry MX keys. And a spoiler alert, we also have the Alienware 610M mouse. But first, keyboard. It's available in two different colors, a dark gray and a black color called Dark Side of the Moon and a white with black accents, a lunar light color variant. The one we have here is obviously the dark side of the moon version. This has the Cherry MX low profile RIT switches. It's also wired and has an extra USB port. It cannot be used wirelessly. All right, so let's take a look what's inside the box. On the box, it just looks cool. There's no denying that. I would not recommend slamming yours around like that. In the box, just the little Alienware booklet, which they tend to do. Just a nice little letter and standard paperwork. No stickers though. So the box itself has the rigid sides, or at least a lot of cardboard in it, and then this padding on the bottom. So that's nice to see that Dell is doing what it can to keep your device protected. And then the keyboard itself is also wrapped in plastic. This is gonna sound dumb for something called Dark Side of the Moon, but it's substantially darker than I expected. I mean, it looks pretty black. Actual fact, you need to be black. And on the back, there's a little rubber feet down at the bottom parts here. And of course it has a two tier leg stand. So the, at the highest level, it's about yay high. And then of course you can chuck these in for the shorter guys. It does give you a pretty low profile. Let's just take a look next to my current keyboard, the Logitech MX Keys. It's gonna be hard because it has a cord, of course, but see if you put it completely flat, it's really not a lot taller than the old Logitech. So I might leave it flat like that. We'll see. And of course it is longer, deeper. I don't know what you call that. And just a slight bit wider. Go ahead and pop it back up and we can take a look at the actual keys themselves. Well, I guess somebody wants to hear what they sound like. Not as clicky as I was expecting, really not clicky at all. Let's take a look at the actual keys. Top, we have an escape key, and then looks like a Windows on the F1. I don't know, F3, maybe overclocking. F5 and 6 looks like the key brightness. And I love it, media control keys. Track backwards, play pause, stop, and track forward, stop's weird. Print screen, screen lock, pause. There's a mute button way over here, full number pad. This will be a volume dial. It does click, has like detents in it. Rest of it seems pretty standard. There is a USB port up top here. You can see the actual red Cherry MX keys there. One thing I don't like, but Razer does this too, it has two USB ports, but they are labeled. So I assume if you wanted to use a keyboard only, you can use this, but maybe this gives you that extra USB port, which I find odd, but that seems to be how Razer works. It's a very nice braided cable here. I like the looks of it. Of course it has, you know, the alien weird design language, this little kick out curve down the side and like this little flat piece here. I've actually never had a mechanical keyboard before. I really didn't understand the hype. Uh, however, for Christmas, I got the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard for my son. And I did sort of like it. It was a little bit loud for my taste and it felt uh, super tall, if that makes sense, right? You know tall in the sense that I'm used to a lower keyboard. So for years I've used either the Lenovo Ultra Slim keyboard and mouse or the Logitech MX Keys keyboard and MX Master 3 mouse. Both of these are very low profile devices. So I'm not saying they're better, but just what I'm used to. I actually bought a lot of laptops over the past year and finding a keyboard really was a big problem for me. And then not too long ago, I picked up the Alienware X17 R1. Actually, this bad boy right here. With that, I chose the option for the Cherry MX Ultra Low Profile Mechanical Keys. And I find that to be the best keyboard I've ever used on a laptop. So prior to that, I was worn by Lenovo keyboards, like ThinkPads, just Lenovo laptops in general, but primarily ThinkPads. And in addition, I also have the Alienware AW3821DW, sweet name, which is their 38-inch curved gaming monitor. Choo choo bitches. So yeah, at some point I decided to go all in on Alienware. I bought keyboard, mouse, laptop, desktop, whole shebang. You know, I like the idea of being able to sync up all the lights with the Alien FX, but I was conflicted on what color keyboard and mouse to get. The monitor is only available in Lunar Light, as is the X17. But as far as a regular keyboard, I was worried about how well that Lunar Light color is gonna hold up. So obviously, as you can tell here, I picked the Dark Side of the Moon version. However, 
I've been so happy with my monitor and my laptop. I ordered the Alienware R13 and the Alienware AW510 wireless 7.1 headset. This guy. And all those products are only available in the Lunar Light. So basically my desktop, my laptop, my monitor, my headset is all gonna be the Lunar Light colorway. And then my keyboard and mouse will be the dark side of the moon. But on the Lunar Light, X17, the internal keyboard is black, right? And I did go up to Best Buy and see one of the Lunar Light ones and it looked disgusting. Now granted, it was a show, it was a display device, so who knows what happens to those things, but it was gross. All right, so here they are side by side. Another good thing, so right, if you have this USB port here on the keyboard, you could just take the mouse dongle, which I have here, and you could plug it directly into the keyboard, of course. It does stick out a little bit and there's a little teeny tiny alien head on there. You probably can't see it. And it's labeled, it's the 16M, which I like. Or if you still want to be wired, but you want the extra real estate of this cord, put your dongle back in the mouse. This has a USB symbol, but not the alien head, which is, I guess, acceptable. So the good news for the keyboard, it's all one cord until you get to the business end. You're not gonna have two cords just strewn about your desktop, right? Now you will if you have this cord from the mouse going to it, but. I assume the battery's not charged on this thing since it's just came out the box. Fresh out the box. So I'm gonna use it wired for now. And why not, let's get the Alienware X17 out. In case you're wondering, the Alienware X17 has precisely two USB-A ports. So it can use this. I was briefly thinking they only had one and it wouldn't work with this, but oh, look, it lights right up. Right off the bat, that's something neat. It lights up that light right there for the number lock. So that's pretty cool. There's this little switch here. That's way fast. All right, so let's go ahead and we got our power plugged in. This mouse is too fast. Oh my goodness. So you can update it from Alienware Command Center. That's pretty nice. That's nice. So here we are. I'm using my Alienware laptop. Alien FX. Again, I'm not breaking any new ground here, but if I was to tell you that it's not the best software in the world, you can kind of believe that, I guess. Well, let's try. Let's go ahead and make a new theme. And we'll just write keyboard test. And I will save this theme and then I'll have to go back for some reason and edit keyboard test. All right, and you can see here is the Alienware keyboard. So in Alien FX software, you have a couple things you can do. There is a settings section and all you can really do is update the software. There's nothing else you can do. You can save the theme to the device, which is nice, but you can't really do much else outside of that. And then macros, I don't use this. You can do up to 75 apparently. I do find it annoying. It doesn't tell you what these keys mean. Like, I know, obviously this is escape and this is FN lock. I don't know what that means. I mean, I guess it turns off the Windows button maybe while you're gaming. This is, I think, is performance modes. And this is the key brightness ones. But like, when I first started using it, I didn't know what those meant. And there's nothing in here to tell me what that meant. The only reason I know that is because Razer, it says it in theirs. And this one, performance one, I know this one, I didn't know what this Windows thing does. But I'm assuming it just disables the Windows key when it is, you know, engaged, right? When you're in a game, essentially. And you can assign a certain profile to a game, which is nice. Although, again, I don't find them to work particularly well. So here is the lighting for the keyboard. So you can do just the WASD keys, or you can do just the QWR keys, or just the number row, or just the logo, or you can just pick an individual key, right? If I just want to turn R red, yeah, see, it is now red. But let's say so you'll click all keys, so I'm gonna change all of them. We have all keys selected, and we're select to static always on. So now I'm gonna change the option so I can turn all the lights off if you want, or I can change them to a single color. And this will be static blue. This is Alienware blue. This looks very good. You can see them reflecting off the keyboard itself. All right, so there's something cool. Actually, let me go ahead and turn these all off. You can see the number lock key does light up when it is on, which is nice. Even if you have all the lights off, the number lock key will light up properly. So let me go ahead and change them to a color. So we'll make them all static blue, of course. If you want to make them all red, you can. You know, any color you want. If you do a static color, it looks very good. I do like that. If you change it to pulse, it does this little number, which not bad. Again, you can change that to any color you want. If you want to make it red and pulse, you know, or you can change the keys, of course. I'm just doing all keys just for demonstration purposes. And morph. So morph, I don't really know what that is. I think it's fading between two colors, essentially. And I assume color one is this color, and this is color two. So let me make it red. And yeah, I guess it just fades between those two colors. And you can change the tempo over here from slow or fast. I've never used this one other than just to see what it does. Breathing is good. This is a very standard RGB keyboard-ish maneuver, right? You just go flashing colors. So when I had the Alienware desktop, I used this for a little bit, but they didn't sync up quite white, but either way, 
it does look cool if you have all of them together. So, and Spectrum, I have the Alienware X17 laptop. I leave that laptop keyboard on Spectrum. And the Alienware mechanical keyboard, I usually leave on the single color wave, which is cool. I don't use that one necessarily as much, but it does look good. And you can change, obviously you can change the color, change it to purple, it looks pretty good. This is the one I was saying I use as the rainbow wave, right? That's usually why I leave it on. So that looks the best, I think, for this keyboard. It really, the colors pop pretty good with the black background. It's just, it just looks good to me. And also that's another thing, you can change the direction from left to right or right to left. So now they're going this way and then even bottom to top and top to bottom. So the colors are kind of cascading down, right? Which is pretty neat. Although I generally tend to leave it on left to right. And then scanner, which is sort of like single color wave, but just going back and forth. And then of course the standard static default blue. That one doesn't give me any color options, right? The other colors, right? If you do a color, you can change all the colors, but you can always go back to the actual Alienware blue, right? Outside of that, it also has the volume dial here. I actually really, really like this volume knob. See, I don't know, I just got used to it and I didn't think I would like it so much, but I do like it. It's like a little roller pin and it's like a little detent, so it switches. I like that a lot. All right, so let's turn the lights out and I'll give you a couple, a little demo of color party. So let's just go set it right to pulse so you can see it flashing. Now those blue lights up here are my Alienware monitors. You can turn the brightness down, right? So obviously it's pretty bright at the moment. We can dim it some. You know, single color, obviously we've seen that. Uh, we can look at morph, which I think is really dumb. Breathing, which is pretty good, especially in the dark there. It looks good. Spectrum, I swear, just changes one everything from one solid keyboard, which also looks pretty good. Single color wave, which looks pretty good. And then, of course, my favorite is the rainbow wave. And scanner. And back to static default blue. So that's the colors from the keyboard itself. And now let's see how it looks with the mouse. All right, so here is the Alienware mouse and keyboard together. You can see. We're gonna use the Alien FX software. I know this in the mouse video, but I didn't in the keyboard video necessarily. There's a USB slot here. And that's normally why I use the mouse wirelessly, but sometimes the mouse loses the lighting if you don't have it plugged in. So the mouse can be wired or wireless. I'm using a wired now. This is green now because the battery is still charging. Once it gets fully charged, this will just replicate these other colors here. All right, so this Alien FX software, of course, like I just showed. So let's just set all of our keys here and we're gonna turn them all. Let's just make everything blue and then we'll go to the mouse as well. And we'll also make it all. So everything is blue now, right? Everything is all the same color it looks pretty good so let's go back to the keyboard and let's change the keyboard we gotta click all keys again which is really annoying so let's go to and we'll click pulse so now the keyboard is pulsing you can see caps light lock will light up as well so number lock and caps lock will turn to a solid color i didn't want cap lock so i will turn it off and let's go to the mouse and we'll click on pulse and here is where the annoyance starts right so you can tell they don't pulse the same Right, you can tell the alien head and the side piece of the mouse will light up and the keyboard lights up, but they don't light in sync. I also have the Alienware monitor up here and the Alienware laptop over here, X17 R1, and I briefly had the Alienware R13 desktop and the pulsing, it doesn't match up on any of those products. So Alien FX as a whole is kind of annoying because things just don't sync up correctly. Some things will, some things won't. Pulse doesn't quite morph. So I'm gonna change it to top color green, bottom color red, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the mouse. So you can tell this does kind of sync together, which is nice. Now let's go back to the keyboard. We'll always key, click all keys again, and then let's do breathing. So breathing blue, and we'll go to the mouse and pick breathing. And now they're both breathing. And as you can tell again, they don't quite breathe in sync. It almost seems like it's intentional for them not all to be quite the same, but I don't know if it is or not. Or it's just, just random wonkiness. Let's go back, so let's go to what is breathing. So let's do spectrum. This is where the annoyance really comes in play here. So spectrum is flashing on the keyboard and we'll change the mouse also to spectrum. And you would think they would line up correctly and they do not. So this is purple, this is now purple, this is blue. This is now yellow, right? So they don't they don't even line up. It's not like they're delayed and they're you know they're the same tempo. This is a medium tempo and the keyboard, they're also a medium tempo, right? And I've tried, I'm not gonna do it now because I just don't want to take the time, but I've tried moving tempos and getting them, they just does not line up correctly. It just makes no sense. 
So after spectrum, we can do a single color wave, but the mouse does not have any kind of single. It does have color wave, but not single color wave. So it's not gonna do that. Let's do rainbow wave. So it'd be really nice if the rainbow color would start here and then hit the mouse, but it doesn't. Luckily, there's enough colors flashing. This is usually the combo I leave it on, right? So the keyboard, I leave it on color wave, left to right, and then the mouse just does its own little wave option. It doesn't really look bad. I mean, the mouse looks cool. I think it looks good the way it blends the colors here. And it doesn't seem too out of sync with the way it is. It's not quite in sync, but it, it doesn't seem too bad. So outside Rainbow Wave, we have Scanner, and there's no such thing as Scanner on the mouse. Default Blue, of course, if we do Default Blue, it's going to match up perfectly, because that's the way it works, or if you can do just the blue logo on the alien head. And again, if you wanted to set custom colors, like start, start just manually have a static color, it's all going to look pretty good. But when you try to do the fancy patterns, it doesn't work as great, which I find annoying. So, I mean, trust me, I tried a lot to make this work, and it just does not. Pulse. It doesn't even seem in sync, right? Like it doesn't seem like the same speed. Like it's, it'd be one thing if the keyboard's supposed to be one way and then you know, the opposite, but it doesn't seem like that's even happening. It just doesn't seem to be right. And then Morph, this one seems to be in sync, which is nice. But the, I don't know why all of them can't be in sync. It's very odd. Breathing. So this one you could sort of see that they're breathing separately, but then there's like a big flash on the keyboard that doesn't seem to blend in with that so i don't understand color wave this essentially is what i leave it on most of the time and i think it looks pretty good that's really the only option color wave the blue logo and then there's an extra scanner option in here that the mouse doesn't have it does look cool and dark it's way too fast but even if you slow it down it's still probably too fast like i don't know when i would want i mean i never use it i turn it on when i'm messing with it but i never actually use it so yeah, generally I leave it on rainbow wave. And again, you can make it left to right or right to left. And then I leave the mouse on color wave. Anyhow, that's it. So the keyboard and mouse, I do like both items a lot. The keyboard, my first got it. It was my first mechanical keyboard. I have the Alienware X17 that has a mechanical keyboard for a laptop, but it's quite different, of course, than a regular keyboard. I had previously just used this Logitech MX keys, which is very thin and low profile. The first week I had it, I hated it. And I'm wearing right back to the MX Keys. I tried to make myself use it for a couple of days. And then I went back to the MX Keys. But then shockingly, when I went back to the MX Keys, I hated the MX Keys and I went back to this and I've been using this ever since. And I do like it. It's a low profile mechanical keyboard. My son has a Razer keyboard and it's a little taller. I didn't like it as much, but I've been a pretty big fan of it. I love this little wheel here and the mouse I'm a huge fan of. Like I said, ergonomically, this one's probably better for me to use or even the vertical one, but I just like this one and it hasn't hurt my wrist in any capacity, so I like it. But I think it's one of the coolest looking mouses I've ever seen. So software is kind of junk, but the lights look good. The keys type good, I like it. It's, I just like the way the keyboard physically, I think looks good and the mouse looks good and they look good on my desk. They look good with this pad. So if you're into Alienware, probably, even if you don't use Alienware, it looks, because the Alienware don't all sync up unless you're using one solid color. But if you want to use a bunch of fancy colors, they won't sync up. But as far as just using, if you just want set to a standard color or set to like a generic theme like this, then that was pretty good. And I like the keyboard and I can recommend both are, I think are pretty good products. So I guess the big thumbs up, even though the lights are kind of annoying. All right, thanks for checking me out.